surely having a standard would, would help collaboration greatly and, and digitalization is about collaboration, right? Sharing is caring, that's what the digital natives say. Um, but the point is also that if, if you can't achieve that thing, if that one rock-solid standard lasting from, from Siberia to, to Fuerteventura, from, from one place of the world to the other, um, isn't achievable, isn't then digitalization about finding ways to make it happen? And there I believe that massaging data, twisting data, approaching data, making data available in applications, regardless of in what format or in what logic that were available before. That's more the key than trying to achieve something we haven't managed to achieve for 30 years. Surely there's always the question of who owns data. I mean, it's in our private lives the same thing, right? Who owns my data or your data on Facebook or on, on, on Amazon or God knows where. Um, but again, I mean, when we talk about digitalization and we face the fact that the world is changing and that we have to change with it because otherwise it's going to change us or it's going to roll over us, um, we have to look forward. And very often I'm, I'm concerned that these questions of who going to own the data, what is the standard, um, that these are actually things where we're tricking ourselves. It's, it's questions we are asking ourselves, but that are not the main questions. The main question is looking forward. How can we use, make use of data? How can we agree on a model that you might own the data, but I can use them? How can we agree on jointly owning them? How can we agree on that we don't care who owns the data, but that we jointly own the IP that we generated or, or the artificial intelligence that we generated. We have to be extremely careful that we are, our questions, we are looking forward and we're not looking backward, emphasizing problems instead of emphasizing solutions.